Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of bubble text effect with using circle render. Guys, it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. And now guys, I teach you how I create this type of beautiful bubble effect. So firstly guys, click on here and delete all assets. So now guys, I'm going to take a text tool, this one, text and guys, closer. So guys, go to on here. And I create screen setup check, screen check, yes. Okay, so now, guys, this time, press and letter and press tab, edit mode. Guys, you can type your letter like a S letter. Yeah, that's my simple S. And now, guys, I change alignment, alignment center and vertical, use middle. Okay, so next one, guys, I change font font are like Arial black simple like this so guys I rotate rotate like this 90 degree 90 yes and guys I increase size go to on transform here and size I like 2 is good yes and increase depth so go to on geometry and see guys that's my extrude extrude increase like a 0 0.1 yeah 0 0.1 is good yeah right okay so guys 12 yeah okay so now go to on bevel and depth increase like a 0 0.01 and resolution I like 5 is good okay see guys that's my 3d text and now guys go to on object and convert use mesh convert to mesh yes and guys geometry check that's my wireframe and next one guys i create remesh so go to on here and use remesh tool this one yes and go to sharp see guys that's my depth i like increase like a seven it's good seven and six yes okay seven is good i like seven for more smoothness but guys, if your system configuration is better, you can increase depth for more resolution, like a 8, but that's only tutorial part, I like 7. Okay, so now guys, apply, yes, simple. Okay, so next one, guys, wireframe uncheck, and guys, this time, I take cube, and guys, I change cube size, size change, like a 0.6, 0.6 and depth 0.2 is good more guys more I like guys 0.03 is good yes see right okay so guys press 1 and go to down like this see guys that's my location and location minus 0.8 enter and press animation key and guys, now go to last 200 frame, actually 250, and go to on up, like a 0 0.7, enter, and press animation key. Yes, and guys, go to back and play. Yeah. See, guys, that's my simple animation, cube animation. Okay, so now, guys, go to back, and guys, right click, shade smoother. Yes. Okay, so guys, select this text, and guys, I apply cloth effect. Cloth. Yeah, and guys, quality step I like 8 and vertex mass I like 2. Enter, yes, and see guys, that's my stiffness. I like all 10, 10, and 10. Yes, blending 0 0.5 is good. Okay, so guys, go to on dumping, dumping all 0, 0, 0, and 0. Yes, right, see guys, that's my stiffness and dumping. Okay, so guys go to on pressure, pressure check. Guys, pressure, pressure, I like 200, 2 and double zero, enter. Guys, pressure 200 is good. And see guys, that's my catchy. And that's my shape. Guys, now I create vertex effect. So guys go to on here. That's my object data property. And that's my vertex group. So, guys, go to on here, select text and edit mode. See, guys, that's no vertex and select all, press A letter, select all 
and vortex group check press on this plus icon and assign check that's it guys right okay so guys that's my selection again go to on here glow tech and shape see guys that's my pin group to change group yes and string factor minus 0 0.5 enter yes right okay so now guys go to on collision and see guys that's my collision i like five and yeah all is good guys don't use self collision and lastly guys go to on fill weight and see guys that's my gravity gravity zero yes that's it guys okay so now guys this time go to on here object and weight pin check yes and guys go to back and play okay so guys go to on here okay see guys that's not working so guys go to on object mode go to back and guys see that's my cube hide and hide on render yes guys select your 3d text and go to on here and this time guys i apply this one vertex weight proximity check yes and guys close go to down upper vertex weight and vertex group i like group and target object guys use cube that's my target object and see guys that's my mode to change geometry yeah and see guys that's my lowest i like 2.5 enter and height i like 3 yes right and guys go to on fall off type i use smooth yeah that's it guys so guys hide this one and now guys this time again go to on vertex weight and guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my vertex weight right create animation like this that's my bubble effect yes okay so guys that's it that's my weight effect and go to on object mode yeah and guys see that's my text and guys go to on cloth object and go to on catch a and big catch a check yes okay so guys go to back okay so guys that's not working so guys go to back and delete big check and now guys see that's my cloth and that's my real time view check one more time cloth tag and bake all check yes guys take little bit time for baking because that's my little bit heavy effect okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and play yes see guys that's my bubble cloth effect it's really good yeah that's really nice okay so now guys you can apply more smoothness so guys right click on this text and create smoothness and guys this time i apply subdivision surface and guys viewport level i like 2 and render 3 is good yes see guys that's my smoothness okay so now guys you can apply also smooth tool smooth like this and guys factor i like 2 and repeat it i like 2 yes that's it guys that's my bubble effect and guys now go to back and play guys take little bit time because my heavy effect yeah see guys that's my cool effect yes okay so now guys this time i apply material so guys for material and guys fold all and guys this time i apply geo node this one yes and guys go to on geo geometry node yes and closer like this so guys select and use new yeah and now guys go to on add add and search guys i use capture note this one capture attribute so go to on mate yes and see guys that's my group input connect with value so guys connect and this attribute connect with geometry yes like this yeah that's it guys and now guys go to on here geometry value so guys click on here input target and use group yes 
and go to on attribute output attribute guys i apply weight so type w e i g s t enter yeah that's it guys okay so now guys go to on shading and closer so guys i create new material create new yes and guys this time i apply mix shader mix shader connect and second one guys i use color ramp and guys i like color ramp yes and now guys smaller so guys go to on up like this and guys select this color connect with factor like this and now guys next one i use attribute attribute so guys this time factor this one connect with color ramp connect like this and guys see that's my name and type same way w e i g s t enter like this yeah see guys that's my vertex weight and now guys i change base color guys color code is double f a 6 a d enter yes and now guys go to on metallic metallic i like one and roughness 0.2 enter yes and now guys i change this one black color so guys go to on here color ramp and select your white checker box and guys you can change like this like a 0.4 enter yes right so guys that's my vertex weight guys you can change any colors depend on your work like a 0.3 is also good okay so now guys this time i apply some random shader so guys i use bump tool bump and guys connect with normal like this and next one guys i use rawny fracture rawny texture tool connect with this one color to use height and guys i use this time noise texture noise texture yes and guys fact connect to here like this yeah and guys you can also change the scale size like a 10 10 yes really good see guys that's my texture it's really good right okay so guys my text and material is really good so guys go to on layout and guys see that's my preview it's looking really good and now guys i apply background simple plane go to down and increase size yes more yeah and guys go to on edit mode select and press e and g and go to on up like this select guys i create background like a 0.2 and 40 and right click shade smoother yes okay so guys closer and now guys i take camera and camera check and set your camera angle like a 90 0 and 0 and guys closer yes and y axis change like this yes okay so guys now you can take different color different camera angle like this yeah it's good and guys closer yeah okay see guys that's my camera angle and now guys go to back and play okay so guys now i stop this animation yes that's my final work and guys select your background and i create new material guys i create dark background dark color like this and saturation change yes it's good yeah okay so now guys all is good this time i apply light and hdr material so guys go to on here world property and i apply environment texture guys go to on here hdr and see guys that's my hdr texture and guys stand 1.5 enter and now guys i take this time light area light and go to on up like this more yes so guys size i like 
टू एंड पावर टू हंड्रेड एंड टा यस सो गाइज क्लोजर एंड नाव गाइज गो टू एंड रेंडर सेटिंग साइकिल रेंडर जे वाई जी बी ओ चेक एंड मैक्स एम टू फाइव सिक्स गुड टू फाइव सिक्स येस दैट्स इट गाइज माई दैट्स माई फाइनल एनिमेशन एंड रेंडर सेटिंग सो गाइज नाव आई शो यू माई ओनली वन फ्रेम रेंडर येस सी गाइज दैट्स माई रियली कूल बबल इफेक्ट राइट इट्स रियली shiny and really good material yes see guys that's my final work it's really good so close and guys go to on here and frame rate i use 30 fps and output guys i use jpeg sequences so guys i create new folder like this and any file name except yes and guys go to back and guys render so guys set your camera angle front view 0 0 and 0 closer yes yeah it's good yeah see guys that's my camera angle okay so guys lastly go to on text select text tool and cloth so guys delete back check and now guys i apply this time turbulence this one trouble and guys select your turbulence and see guys that's my strength strength i like 50005 and 4 times 0 enter yes okay so guys now again go to on text and guys go to on bake and bake check yes see guys that's my baking okay so guys that's it my final effect is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you